Good afternoon everybody and welcome to another video from Tall Travels. Today you find me in Dharavi slum in Mumbai. Now I'm liking it so far, it's really nice, it reminds me of Bradford in England. So let's go and have a look around. <coughs> Oh, I might need an umbrella later. It's monsoon season here. I think it's going to rain soon. Wow, so much street food here. I'm spoiled for choice. How much for the umbrella? Uh, how much? How much? 100 rupee, 200 rupee. How many rupees? 30. 20. 200. Ah, oh, wait, wait. 200. Uh, how much for the umbrella? Ah, those. Those are 200. 200. Can I look? Oh, I think it's good. Okay, I take it. Okay, everybody, I made my first purchase in Daravi. It's an umbrella for 200 rupees, and he said it's got a lifetime guarantee. Let's go. Wow, look at these delicious looking fruits. So my plan is to continue down this main street for a while, so as not to get lost. I don't know what I'm going to do if I get lost in Dravi. I might have to leave breadcrumbs on the street like Hansel and Gretel. The problem with that is the rats will eat them. So this is a pretty cool market. I'm sure they've got absolutely every food under the sun here. Tomatoes, onions, uh, spinach maybe, more onions, mangoes, ginger, chilies. So guys, here in the middle of the slum, we got some very fancy looking shops selling gold. So there must be some people with money here. So I don't know why people told me not to come to Duravi because it seems pretty nice so far. Hello. Okay, let's go and see what's going on down this street. If I can cross the road. Hello, how are you? Good. Uh, what is this? Ah, nice to meet you. What's your name? Apki Nam Kaihi. Ah? His name is Chanu. Chanu. Oh, John. John. Ah, John. Uh, my name is Sasha. Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, what is your name? My name is Rakesh. Uh, Sasha, that nice. Aman. Aman Rakesh. Your English is very good, Rakesh. I know. I know. <laughs> You're very modest as well. <laughs> Where did you study your English? Where did you study English? English, England. You went to England? Oh, wow. A long time ago? No. Two years ago. Two years ago, wow. Okay. Do you like it there? I like England cricket. You like cricket, yeah? 
Uh, but I think Indian team better than English team. Yeah? I'm staying in some other parts of uh, Mumbai. Germany, France. Me, I'm English. Uh, United Kingdom. United Kingdom, yeah. Uh, so would you like to go back to England or not? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You like the pounds? <laughs> so uh, you would not like to live in England, but you would like the pounds. Yeah, I'm like that too. I don't live in England now, but I like the pounds. <laughs> so I agree with you. <laughs> oh, what? What did he say? Photo. Ah, photo. Ah, no, I'm okay. Thank uh, no, thank you. Hey, your room, you live in here? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You rent some property here, or? Ah, uh, nice. Okay. People said don't come here. It's very bad, but I think it's poor, poor people. Yeah, but I think I was expecting something worse. It's okay. You are not comfortable. Not comfortable living here. I understand. Uh, camera. Camera. <laughs> camera. Yeah, Sony camera. Sony. Sony. So you heard that, everybody. He lived in England, but he doesn't like it. But he likes English pounds, so that's a lot like me. Although the English pounds is not doing great at the moment. It's compared to the rupee, it's pretty good. So I've heard that rents in Duravi in some places go for as low as 200 rupees a month. So if you're from elsewhere in India and you want to come to Mumbai you know, to improve your station in life, then you can always find a place here for cheap. And here, everybody, we got the Daravi KFC. Mmm, it's looking good. Okay, so in the distance there, we can see some high-rise buildings, and they look uh, pretty good. So they're probably for the more wealthy residents of Daravi. And some other high-rises in the background there. This one doesn't look very, ni very nice, but the ones in the distance look all right. Hey, nice shirt. Oh my God, everybody, look. It's an old British double-decker bus. Amazing. I've never seen one that old. Hello, boss. So yeah, I'm at a crossroads now, and I don't know which direction to go in. Whichever choice I make will change the course of history forever. Okay, I'm going to go back onto the other street for now and continue down because there doesn't seem to be pavements in, on these other streets. Hello pussycats. Now when you talk about going to the slum a lot of people would think about rats. I haven't seen any rats yet, but I've seen a lot of crows and cats as well. Hello. How are you? Do you speak English? No. Okay. Do you live here? Do you live here? Yeah, I'm here to Timber Clearing. Timber Clearing. Yeah. Timber Clearing. Timber Clearing, I understand. Hello, rats. Uh, for dinner. <laughs> hey look everybody, there's a hotel there called Sumitva Villa Hotel. Go on to booking.com and see if you can see it. Here we have a wine shop. I'm not sure if this wine is made out of grapes or could be something else. See, the slums are pretty civilized in India. If I was in some other country like Brazil, I could have been killed by now. Look at that, it says, I miss Yoi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, everybody, it's uh, very good that I bought this umbrella because look over here. It looks like monsoon's on the way. I really respect this, even if you've got the worst looking property in the world. You can make it look nice on the outside and on the inside. Hello, how are you? 
Oh, your English is very nice. What's your name? Sugra. S what? Sugra. Sugra. Nice to meet you, Sugra. My name is Sasha. Hello. So everybody, the monsoon rains seem to have started here in Dravi, Mumbai. Now, uh, in previous years, there's been some serious flooding in the area. Last year, I believe, there was uh, bad rains here, and some of the weaker dwellings in Dravi were washed away, and unfortunately, a number of people lost their lives. Now, I think I made a very good decision today to wear my flip-flops, because if I was wearing my shoes, they would get soaking wet. And also, this rain's good for washing all the filth off my legs and uh, feet. I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain What a wonderful feeling I'm happy again I'm laughing at clouds So high up above The sun's in my heart And I'm ready for love Let the stormy clouds chase Everyone from the place Come on with the rain Have a smile on my face I'll walk down the lane With a happy refrain just singing and dancing in the rain. Now, it seems like a funny thing to say, but I'm looking for a bin here in Dravi and I can't find one. I want to throw this water bottle away. <coughs> Flipping heck, this rain is really something. Maybe I should get to high ground. Now, this isn't like English rain, is it? When it rains in India, it does so with gusto. Okay, I'm actually getting a little bit concerned that this whole street's gonna turn into a river soon. Wow, well, look at this, everybody. Crap. Hello, how are you? Is it good? Nice, good, yeah. yeah. Oh. I never saw a crab like that before. That color. Eating? Oh, your English is good. You can speak English well? <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> nice weather, it's like England. England weather today. <laughs> Hey, how are you? <laughs> now, if I see that umbrella seller that sold me this umbrella for 200 rupees, he's going to get a tip from me because this is standing up very well. I was not expecting much from my 200 rupees. Good, you guys speak good English. Are you brothers? You look like brothers. No, we are friends. We are friends. Oh, but you look like each other yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> from? Man, I'm from friends. England. Oh my God. Are you living here in Dravi? Yes. Good, you go to school? Yes, no, we are going for classes. Ah, you're going for classes. So you're learning English at school. Yes. Uh, excellent English. Are you a YouTuber? YouTuber, yeah. What is your channel? Uh, travels. Tall travels. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I'm not mega successful yet, but who knows? In the future, maybe. Thank Take care, much. guys. Thank you very much. Wow, very polite and smart looking kids there. Okay, everybody, I'm feeling a little bit more confident now. We're going uphill a bit so there's no river coming down the street. Oh, sorry. There you go. Thank you, thank you. So we got so many different ethnicities in Dharavi. Sikhs, Hindus, Muslims, I don't know what else.
Yeah, I mean, this is not the best looking property in the world, I must concede. You can still probably get a few quid for it on Airbnb. Oh, it's pretty chaotic in this area. So many different smells in the air. And so many different feelings in my lungs. Keep the noise down, please. This is a civilized neighborhood. Hi, Good. What's your name? Huh? What's your name? Aki Nam Kahe, sorry. <laughs> Good. What's your name? Some guy, some. Oh, hey, watch out. What's what? This boy is hitting me on the ass with his umbrella. Some people pay for that kind of thing. Wow, it's so much busier since I first came into Darabi. Everybody must have finished work and come to chill out down here. Okay, everybody, I'm back to exactly where I started my Dalavi adventure. And yeah, way more chaotic than when I arrived, so I'm not sure which way to go now. I think I'm going to continue that way. I haven't been that way so far. Okay, let's have a look down this street. Yeah. So this looks like one of the local rubbish dumps. Okay everybody, I'm going to go up on this uh, overpass now and see if I can get a better view of things, get an idea of what's going on around here. All right, everybody, so I'm on a railway bridge now. You can see the train tracks down there, loads of people living next to the train line, piles of rubbish, piled up. And if I continue this way, I don't know if it's still Dravi because it's supposed to be a huge area and there's an estimated 700,000 to 1 million people living in Dravi. So, yeah, I'm sure I've just seen a small fraction of it. So everybody, I think the most poignant memory from this trip to Duravi so far is meeting those two uh, boys that I thought were brothers. They seem so smart, uh, educated, healthy looking. I mean, it's the kind of kids you'd expect to find in some rich suburb of uh, Mumbai, not in the slum. So everybody, I really do not know where to go now. If you come to Dravi, don't come in the evening, it's madness here. Come earlier in the day. Waiting for my Uber home now, 4998. All right, everybody, we're in a different part of Dravi now. There seems to be a lot of cauliflowers around. I think cauliflowers are in season. I would buy some, but I can't cook. It's all kicking off down here. It looks like a religious celebration. I think this orange flag is Hindu. Maybe I can find out what's going on. Hello. Maybe it's the concrete laying ceremony.
I have no idea what's going on, but I'm fist pumping them, and they're fist pumping me back. I'm gonna go down that alleyway, but first I've got to get across this wet concrete. I'm not gonna step in it. Try not to. Let's go and have a look down this alley. Is Sunday exciting like this where you are? Oh, strong smell of herbs down here. More cauliflower, cauliflower paradise. Got soap corner here. There's a burka shop in there. You can protect your lady's modesty for a very modest price. Look at all this great food. Hello. <laughs> nice lady. Very good. Wow, everybody, would you hang out in a market like this? I think that guy was uh, offering his daughter to me, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Now everybody, this is a place where it's very easy to get lost, so I'm uh, trying to remember where I came from. Hello ladies. I don't think his cauliflower is fresh. Okay everybody, you know what, this is getting a bit too intimate for me, so I'm going to go back the way I came. There's even flies on my camera, for Christ's sake. <laughs> wow, look at that, you don't get cucumbers like that in Sainsbury's. Now, some of you back home prefer to spend your Sundays in your local shopping centre, but I'm telling you, this is way more fun. Look at this place, Swag Restaurant, a stomach settler. celebration but I need to find out what it is. Hello. Uh, what's happening? Anybody speak English? English? Some guy came up to me and said you must go from here. But uh, nobody tells Tall Travels what to do. I am literally the only white face here in Dravi. I feel like the last panda bear in China. Saying that though, I'm not that white. There's Indians that are pretty close to me in terms of uh, skin color. Flip and egg is getting pretty intense around here.
Now, most Brits go somewhere nice in summer, like the south of France, Italy, Spain. But no, Tour Travels has to be different. He goes to Dravi Slum in Mumbai. Tell you what, I'm getting hungry, but with all due respect to Dravi, I don't want to eat anything around here. Maybe I should go back to that place at the start where the man was offering me his daughter for marriage. Hi. Hello, boss. How are you? Hi. Good. I am okay. What's your name? Uh, I am named Beam. Beam? That's a good name. And your friend? Uh, Al Thomas. Al Thomas. Al Thomas. Oh, you speak very good English. English not. Not a little bit, uh, yeah? Yes. You study English at school? Atkanamke. Uh, Atkanamke. Sasha. Sorry, Sasha. It's <laughs> Mindy coming to uh, I don't understand. <laughs> Oh. You'll be on YouTube, both of you on YouTube. Yeah, Live. yeah on YouTube, will be on YouTube. Hey, how are you, boss? I'm fine. What's your name? Uh, Andy Abdullah. Abdullah, nice to meet yes. you. What are you selling? Trainers? Training to feel all ready for this for Genuine, you. yes? Genuine, uh, yes. First copy. Yeah, yeah. first copy. Do you give him? No, I have lots no of like shoes. No, like this for you? It's good, I like this, it's good. Good. Looks comfortable. How much are these? Uh, 500 rupees, yeah? Mm. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah, very nice. Take this one piece. Today you did good business? Okay, business. Today business good? I know, business Not good. bad? Oh, very good. <laughs> Have a good day, boss. Okay. Take care. Thank you very much. So, moving on to serious matters. Uh, yesterday there was a security situation in Dhabi. There was a sighting of Angelina Jolie. And the kids are absolutely terrified of Angelina here. They think she's uh, going to come and snatch them away and take them to America. How are you doing? What's your name? Mohammed Azim. Mohammed Azim? Yes. Uh, my name's Sasha. Yes? Sasha. Sasha. Uh, Where are you from? I'm from England. Oh my god, London, huh? Uh, yeah, close to London. Oh. Uh, your English is good, huh? What are you doing for work here? I'm a pest control technician. A pest control technician is yes. very good business in Dadavi, yes. many pests. Yes. <laughs> you have work for the rest of your life, probably. You will uh, alone here or uh, family? Uh, alone. Um, so how many pests did you kill today? Did you get many pests today? Working today? Yes. Yeah. So nice to meet you, my friend. Thanks. No. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> wow, I got a bunch of kids following me. Hello, how are you? Very good, how are you? <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Wow, I feel like I'm in a Coldplay video. Hi, bro, how are you? Very good, how are you? How are you? How are you? High five, high five, high five. Oh, nice bike. I can't give you anything. I got nothing. I'm very poor. I'm very poor. I can't give you anything. Oh. Sounds like being your friend is expensive. Hello. How are you? Which country, sir? England. England. Is today some religious celebration? No, no. This is a political some issues are there. Ah, political uh, with Dharavi, political issues in yeah, this yeah, area, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I see. Very busy today for a Sunday. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> today Sunday now. The crowd is there. Yeah, right. I understand. Wow, it's a very exciting place to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. say. More exciting than England on a Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet okay, you. Thank okay. You. You know what, when I'm just walking down the street, uh, not filming, holding my camera, people are not very interested, but as soon as I start pointing this camera at myself, then everything changes. Okay everybody, so we've got some threatening clouds above Dharavi now, so I hope you've had a good look around in Dharavi. And I don't know, maybe you'll think to yourself that the slums here in Mumbai are not as bad as you think. There's just lots and lots of people here, happy and celebrating life. So take care of yourself. See you in the next video.